Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Carissa. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm super good. Okay, well, let's get started. Can you introduce yourself to me today? Yes, so my name is Melissa Bullwith. I am uh, the listings manager on the Sue Adler team. And um, I've been on the team for almost six years now in the same capacity. And I've been in real estate for uh, <laughs> quite some time, for about 16 years. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then let's just get started. So this is going to be very simple. There's really only two questions. So <laughs> the first question is, um, when you interviewed with Sue six years ago, or whenever you interviewed with someone on the team, mm -hmm. what made you decide to join? Well, so I started my process um, in the interview process through a recruiter. Uh, I had been working in commercial real estate for about seven years in Manhattan. I had just had my son and something about that river made me need to be on the other side of it, on the Jersey side. Um, so I reached out to a recruiter and started passively looking and I legitimately responded to two advertisements. They had an exceptional recruiter at the time. Um, and the way that it was worded totally drew me in. It was a very creative feeling. It felt very, it felt less corporate than what I had been accustomed to for so many years in commercial and sparkly and shiny residential, um, you know, was exciting. So I reached out, spoke with a recruiter back and forth, back and forth. I went through the KW process <laughs> um, and the first Sue Adler team member that I worked with was Scott Schumann, who um, everyone who knows Sue Adler knows of Scott Schumann. And <laughs> at the time, he had just joined the team uh, full time in his in, you know, in New Jersey capacity as the director of operations then. And I spoke with him not knowing who he was or, or anything. Um, we did some video interviewing. I did the whole KPA process. I, I did almost kind of quit in the middle because there were so many different quizzes and so many different assessments that were used by KW that, that our team was very, you know, very strong. They wanted to use all that. But I stuck with the process. Uh, it was very new for me, but I stuck with it. I finally got to got through the process um, virtually and met with them in person. And I met Scott <laughs> um, at first. So that was quite the shock when I arrived, but um, he was incredible and totally blew me away given his age at the time, uh, a brand new college grad, but had already had so many years experience on the team and now was running the team. So uh, I then got to meet Sue who blew in about 15 minutes into the interview. <laughs> and good example, good description. Absolutely, of <laughs> yes. So um, I was just, at that point, I felt very invested in the team. I had already done my due diligence on the background of the team, who Sue Adler was, what she had done in production, uh, just the way she was. I watched videos of her, her community videos. Oh, wow. Like, I really wanted to know who she was. And when I met her in person, it definitely, it all fit. It all made sense. And I was very connected to both Scott and Lori Silver Corsello, who is Sue's listing partner. I did meet her at my first in-person interview. Sue came in and I think um, Sue has a gut feeling. She feels something and she goes with it. And that's how she felt about me in that moment. And we ended the interview because Scott wanted to keep it very professional. And um, I had a follow-up call with Sue and she offered me the position. So, and with Scott as well. So, and yeah, I was just very taken with her as the powerhouse and who she was and the whole blowing in was very indicative of kind of what was to come for the next six years. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That is a very, very good description of her. I love yeah. that. Okay. So the second question is, you've been here six years. What keeps you here? What makes you stay? So while my title has kind of stayed the same, uh, well, until Sue went to a family reunion and renamed me a listing success manager, not just a listings manager. Um, <laughs> my, my role has definitely evolved over time. It went from being very procedural and back end and administrative in the beginning with client contact to 
now where I, you know, I, I do hope and I do believe that I provide Sue with the leverage to enable her to kind of do what she loves to do, um, which is really pound the phones and drum up business and be that rainmaker. Um, so I do a lot of client coordination and direct client interaction. And, and I think because my role has evolved to something like that, where I feel more ownership of our listings and more of a connection with our sellers as their main point person for anything other than market expertise, because you hire Sue Adler for that, um, I've been able to own the role and Sue has given me the permission to do that um, in a similar fashion, how she talks often like, you see a need on the team, take it, fill it, make it happen. She's very much like, if you want something or you want a bigger role or you want more responsibility or you want to grow, you see it, take it. So we've had a very transformational couple of years. The past three years for me personally have very been very um, full of change. And Sue has kind of let me, if you see, you know, if, if we can make this work and this works for the business and it works for you, then go with it. Um, there's been talk and conversations and it's up to me to kind of drive that and continue to push forward with it to potentially transition me into a different role. But I'm very protective of my sellers. I'm very protective of my role. And if I'm going to transition out, we need to make sure that we have the right person in place. They need to be me or better. I'd, I'd like better. <laughs> um, so I just, I stay and, and I continue to be on this team because we are, we're the best team in the area. And truthfully, because um, as much as Scott and I over the past six years, we've grown together. Um, I've worked side by side with him for the past six years, minus the past three months. Um, but I've learned so much from him and so much from Sue and Lori and everyone else on the team. But the two of them, I feel like we're like, like a little unit. And I like knowing that I've been able to, to support the two of them. And Sue is Sue, you know Sue. Um, any of you five dolls and all of those close to her know who she is and how she is. And while sometimes it's been challenging, it's been a fun challenge. So she is a very caring person for me personally. She is Aunt Sue to my son. Um, and she, you know, she's been there for me personally and professionally. And so when things get crazy and things seem, oh no, I can't do this anymore. We always come back to the same place. She's protective of making sure that I don't feel overwhelmed and she'll give me the liberty and the, you know, the rope to run with figuring out how to make things better and leverage myself as well to help her. That is awesome. So one more time to wrap up, just tell <laughs> us who you are, where you're at in case people want to send referrals, maybe not necessarily to you, but to your team. Absolutely. My name is Melissa Bullwith. I am the listing success manager on the Sue Adler team. We service the Midtown Direct train line towns, and we are here for anything that you might need. Anytime, any referrals, send them our way. Admin at sueadler.com. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate the time and I will talk to you again soon. It was my pleasure. Nice to meet you finally. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Take care. <laughs> Take care.